What's going on guys? My name is Garrett and today I'm going to talk to you guys about making your website designs on a grid. So as you can see this is a site that I've been working on. I'm just going to save it really quick. This is a site that I've been working on lately and it's just a concept design but um, it'll work wonders for showing you guys the grid development. So as you can see there's a uh, pink grid here that's um, in the background um, and you want to put this here before you even start putting anything down for your design um, um, where you can get these is you can go to gridulator.com and you can make one and all it is is you just type in what you want your overall width to be for your whatever your overall width is for your site and then you type in how many columns you want and it'll give you all the different combinations of column width and gutter width that add up to 1200 and you can just select the one that you think would work best for you so um, I like um, to use this one right here um, you can use whatever you want I think the default is 960 when you come on the site yeah so um, you can just type in what you want and then say I want 10 columns and then I like to use this guy and you can preview them and I'll show you the spaces you know so I like to use this one download show in folder copy I'm gonna paste it in I'm just gonna line it up and then all I really do is you can do this to make it longer or shorter or whatever um, and then I just decrease the opacity to about 10 10 or 15 and then it's there and then I come to the actual thing and then I um, I lock it I lock it right there so that I can still move things around um, and it won't affect um, where my grids grids at so um, if you're used to working in um, Illustrator and InDesign, like graphic designers would use the guides in there, but on Photoshop and Fireworks and other web design mocking up programs, they don't really have guides. So there's wonderful tools like Gridulator that create these amazing grid layout things here that are really a lot easier to use than the stupid grid lines, and um, they're really great. I personally really like them. So now, if you're doing this and you want to move it, if you're done with your design and you want to move it over to the um, into web, oh, into code and um, you want to keep your grid layout, I'll show you how to do that in um, in Dreamweaver. And um, this also makes life really easy for when you want to take that site and you want to. Um, convert it to percentages to make it responsive so um, I've already kinda mocked up what this would look like so in my index.html here I have linked my style sheet in the header and then over here I have um, started a grid layout so my overall width I've specified here is 1200 pixels my column width is 102 pixels my gutter width is 20 pixels and the number of columns I have is 10 just so that if anyone who um, doesn't know the code um, comes to work on the site um, and wants to uh, kind of figure out what's going on this is all here for them um, and also for my future reference if I don't come back to this site for a long time and I need to know what I'm, what I'm working with that's there for me um, so what I've basically done is basically you're making these columns here so you're making this so this right here is 102 pixels this little red bar column and then this white space in here is 20 pixels and then you have another 102 and then you have 20 and then 102 and you have 20 so what I'm gonna do is as you can see this is here and it's great and I like it so as you can see I have my width here of 102 and then basically for your next one what you have to do is you have to add 102 
and then 20 because it's going to push out whoops it's going to push out you have your 102 and then you need to add in this space and then you have to go here so now come back in and so next you have this one and you basically keep adding a hundred and if you add a, a 102 and 20 it's 122 so you just add 122 to each one and then if you're using a different uh, column width and gutter width it'll be different for you but you just add them all up to your final column and you get to your max width down here since these don't have the gutters in them I've specified gutters so I've said all of these grids will have margins on the right of 20 pixels and the top um, of 10 pixels just so that when you create new things they've got a little bit of space and then they all automatically float left so that when you're designing everything's kind of when you're doing it multiple things across your website in a horizontal landscape they automatically float and you don't have to specify what's floating what's not floating and all that stuff um, and then when you get to certain things like this is another class that you can add to get rid of this right here so if you say say you're on the end say for example this photo here is on the end right it's on the very end if I don't give it if I don't give it this no right margin class it'll give it that 20 pixel gutter and then if you look on my layers here let me go grab it this doesn't have a margin on the right so what it'll end up being looking like is this will be like over here and there'll be a 20 pixel margin here where I don't want it like that I want it to go right there so that's how you get rid of so if I had that image I would get rid of um, I would have this class here grid.10 in the div tag and then I would also put in after that no right and then that would take away this 20 pixel or whatever uh, margin it has um, so you can use this for any of them just so that things can line up on the right fully and then line up all the way on the left fully same same goes for the left side um, you wouldn't really have to use that left side though because I haven't specified a margin for left for the grid and then here you have your container and then you have your width which is 1200 and your margin which is auto and that centers your your web on the, your site on the page um, yeah so that's the basics for um, developing a grid um, uh, in the next couple videos I'm going to do um, some mocking up of sites just basic sites and um, I'll show you guys how to implement this with a uh, full like fully implement it with uh, when you're doing your HTML and uh, giving class selectors um, to div tags and all that so um, that's it for now guys uh, take it easy and subscribe please that would be great uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions um, yeah uh, take it easy guys